back. Okay, so let's get this form working. So we're about to tie it to an HTML. I'm sorry. We're about to tie it to a PHP script. So I'm going to open file, file open. And I have here my HTML file script. Now, good have to get into. So this way you don't confuse your, uh, your original form PHP file with your script file. I get in the habit of naming my file. I put the word script someplace in it. This way you know it's a script that's going to run the mail program. So now you can't see a PHP file until you go to the code. Now, most of this looks like Chinese math, you guys. But I'm going to make this so simple, it's frightening. The only thing you need to do here is basically change this line on who it's from. Okay. This is the PHP script. It's going to run the form and send it to your email program. So you only have to do a couple of things here, and it's very, very simple. The script will do the rest for you. So we're going to create a thanks page, a thanks PHP page, and it's going to go to this email address. So you put your email address here. You put where the page is going to redirect. And this is just a personal preference here, who it's coming from. Okay, so that's the PHP form script that's going to run this form. Okay, so how do I make it work? Very simple. First of all, this file has to be on the server, so we're going to upload this to the server. So upload, command, shift, U. So this file is now on the server. Now, in addition to this, we're going to create a thanks page here. Now, the simplest way to do this is just to take this page and say save as, save as. So file, file, save as. We're going to save this as something else. We're simply going to call it thanks. Make sure, make sure you spell thanks correctly. Okay. And make sure it's in the correct folder. Okay, so the only thing we're going to do here is type it in thanks for contacting, actually contacting, thanks for contacting us. This, all this stuff can go bye-bye. The only thing we're going to do here is put it, we will get back to you ASAP. Make a change, save a change. We'll just change the title to thanks for contacting us. Now, this file needs to be on the server because this is the file that the script is going to go to. So back in the script, it's going to go to the thanks page, thanks.php page. Now, does it have to be a PHP page? No, it can be an HTML page. I'm just keeping it simple. So this is what the page will look like in view. <clears throat> so say thanks for contact us. We'll get back to you. It's P P. So this needs to go on the server. So upload file file upload. We don't need this file, so we can close the file. We go back to our form. Now how do we tie this form to our script. Very simple process here. We select the form tag, select the form tag, and in the bottom here in the property palette is something called actions. We're going to post the actions to the script form. So we're going to select again. Let's do this again. We're going to select the form contact us form tag, which brings up this dialog box. It's going to get very confusing if you don't select the tag. You're not going to see the dialog box. So we need to select this tag. We navigate our way to the script. And again, which one is it? It's the one that has the word script in it. So we're going to go to navigate and it's this file right here. So it's going to go to that file. So what's happening here is that when I hit the contact us, which is a submit button, it's going to trigger this form. This form is going to create the email. And as long as you change this to support what's your email address, the thanks page, and what we want to put here, I'll explain what this does once I give the uh, email. Okay. Now we can publish the page. So file, 
Gradient Browser, Firefox, or a Chrome, or any browser you want to set up in. Now, of course, you have to understand FTP. I have the FTP set up. If you don't understand FTP, there's an FTP file on how to upload files inside my tutorial. So I highly suggest you look at that file. So file, Gradient Browser, Firefox. Testing server, yes, dependent files, no. Okay, now I want to test the form to make sure the form works correctly, sends the information to my email account. So I'm going to put subject line, more info. First name, I'm going to put Jenny. Now, if you type here before, it's going to pop up. Last name, I'm going to type in Smith. And email will be jsmith at comments I need your help ASAP so if I hit the contact us button it now goes to the thank you page and the script was executed to demonstrate that we're going to go to our mail program and I'm going to go and get mail and there's my email properly formatted results from website, whatever web information you want to put here. Uh, more info please is the subject line, and it's this is the email. Now, when you respond, you simply click this, and this is going to go back to the person's email. Okay, now, I want to tidy up this little format here for a second. I don't want to see this. This is from the send it button, because the send it button had ID, so we're going to solve this problem. So right now, this button has a ID called send it. I don't want to give it an ID. Otherwise, it's going to show up in my email. So we're going to kill send it. Now watch what happens when I kill send it. It's no longer formatted because the rule for that basically was P send it. Well, send it doesn't exist. So we're going to tag this input value slightly differently so we can talk to it. Now, keep in mind, this is input field. This is input field. This is input field. I want to talk to this. this input would feel differently, but I don't want to give it an ID because I don't want it to show up in my email. So how can I solve this? We can tag this differently by surrounding it with a strong tag. Strong tag is very non-threatening. Strong tags is going to be able to talk to this differently. So how do we do this? We go to code, we select the tag, and we command T. Command T for quick tag editor. And I type in S-T-R-O-N-G. Return key once, return, return key twice. So back to the branch here. See, it's not formatted, so we have to basically change this rule a little bit. So understand something. This is saying input when input is inside of strong, when strong is inside of P. Now, we have a rule for that. I just need to change this so this matches that. So I can, be, I can simply come over here, change this to strong, S-T-R-O-N-G, space, input. Exactly how it's listed down here at the bottom left. And that's to solve the problem if I can learn how to spell input. There we go. Now when I submit this, I'm not going to get that happening. So let's launch this again. Testing server, yes. Dependent files, no. So let's fill this in again. A subject, uh, 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 let's see, subject B, help. Set this to T uh, Barnes TB at email com. I need help ASAP. Now, the same thing is going to happen when I contact, but when I go to check my email, so this is how the email before it had to send it because this is the send it button. I don't want this to show up in my email. So I click here, and you can see that send it is no longer there. Problem solved. Now, this information is coming from your script. So if I go back to Dreamweaver, and I'm going to go and open the script file. The script file is the one that has the word script in it. Makes sense. So code, we want this to say from 
think dreamweaver.com. Okay, so form, this form here, this form, very important step here, this form is posting to this file. This form is posting to the script file. Okay, so this script file is kept inside the same folder. It's very simple to keep things in the same folder. It will keep it a lot less, a lot less confusing. Now, let's do something a little different to this form here. Let's add some features. Let's add some radio buttons. Let's add a drop down menu for the subject line. Let's also validate this. I'm simply going to file save as and save this as form underscore VALD. Okay, so we're just going to make some basic changes here. We're going to separate this with the drop down menu. Now, pay close attention to the fact that this, this subject name is ID called subject. We're going to cut that. Command X, cut. We're going to give our menu the same name. So I'm going to put my cursor right there. So I'm going to put my cursor right here. Insert form list menu. <clears throat> so we're going to call it paste subject. Now, this is no longer needed, so we delete that. So subject, based on the subject of what you want to do. So subject, let's change this to a few different things. We can go to list values here. Let's change that to, first of all, let's say, please choose. Now, please choose is not enough value. We're going to say product info and copy, tab, paste, plus symbol, customer support, copy, tab, paste, gen, info, copy, tab, paste. Now, if you want to switch the order on this, if customer service, if you want to list alphabetically, I can select customer service and drag that here. See the EFG. So G should go here. Okay. Now, if you want, whatever you click here is going to come first. We're going to pick please choose. So now it says please choose. Okay. Now let's add a whole new field here, like called response. Or how did you hear about us? So we're going to type in, how did you hear about us? Now, this will be a choice of radio buttons. So shift return, shift return creates a line break. We're going to go up to insert, insert form, and we're going to pick radio group. So let's call the radio group response. So, how did you hear about us? Group one, radio, as in AMF radio. Group two, in fact, let's clarify this. Let's call this radio ad. So I copy, paste, TV ad, copy, paste, web search. Copy, paste. One more. A, a friend. Copy, paste. Make a change. Save a change. Could have to get into. Okay, comments. Okay, comments. Everything else is fine here. So we have a pull down menu, first name, last name, email address, how did you hear about us? Now, the only thing we need to do here, we're not to do anything else but publish the file because it's tied to the same script. We need to make changes to the PHP script so I can simply publish the file. 
That's how flexible the script I'm supplying you is. I'm simply going to a brand new script. So I hit testing server, yes. Dependent files, no, because I didn't make any changes. And here's my new page. So subject, let's put uh, customer support. Let's put Ralph. Of Bates how did you hear about us now you can hit the tab key for this too so web search and comments uh, too many questions and contact us so if I go back to my email program here, I'm gonna delete these two and check my email and select here. Here's my response. How did you hear about this? Now, if you wanna call this, how did you hear about us? We're just calling it response, web search, comments, too many questions, subject, customer support, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very cool as far as how we can set this up. It's very straightforward. The script is very flexible and we're going to do some more things in the next video with validation, form validation. So stay tuned.